today I'm going to be talking about different branching strategies that we use across our project at Hackett. So what is a branching strategy and why is it important? GitHub is great because it allows developers to collaborate and work in parallel on the same project. And the way that they do that is by creating a separate branch where they can work on their individual feature that they're working on and then merge back into the main branch where everyone's work is being stored. The issue comes when multiple people are working on the same files and there are conflicts when they merge into the main branch, which causes a lot of issues and wastes a lot of developer time trying to resolve these conflicts. So the way to kind of alleviate that a little bit is to create branching strategies which manage how to handle branches, when to merge them, how to merge them, what type of branches to use, etc. At Hackly, there are many options that we can use, uh, but the main two options we use are Gitflow and Trunk-based development. Please note that neither of them are like strictly followed throughout our Hackly project. It really depends on the project itself and its needs and how suitable each branching strategy is. First, we have Gitflow. In Gitflow, there are four main types of branches. The master branch is the branch that always contains code that's going to be used at production and it always matches the code in production exactly. Any changes that are currently being tested will be on the development branch, which occasionally gets merged into the master branch when a new release occurs. And then there are feature branches. An individual developer might be working on one specific feature or one specific ticket, and they would create a feature branch for that. And multiple developers can work on their feature branches at the same time. Once their feature is completed, they open a pull request to the development branch, which is then reviewed and merged into development. There are also hotfix branches, which occur when there is an issue with the code on production. Rather than going through this whole process of creating a feature branch, merging it into development, and then merging it into master, a hotfix branch comes directly off of master and is merged directly back into master for a really quick fix. Next, we have trunk-based development. In trunk-based development, master is the only branch that is maintained over a long period of time. Like Gitflow, we do have feature branches that developers work on individually that contain code for one specific feature. But rather than merging it into development branch, they are merged directly into master. These feature branches should be as short-lived as possible so that they avoid the risk of merge conflict and all commits to feature branches will be tested and built on the CICD platform that we use to provide fast feedback for developers. Then when a release is scheduled to be made, you would create a release branch off of master. These release branches can be scheduled to align with your services, or your project's release schedule. Now how to decide which one to use? So there are three main reasons for choosing whichever branching strategy you will use. There's the release cadence, which is thinking about how many, how often you're going to be releasing features. Is it going to be every sprint? Um, is it going to be multiple times a day? That will be taken into to consideration when you choose which branching strategy to go with. There's also testing. What stage will um, your key rate testing take place? And release certainty. How likely is it that the feature that you're working on will actually be released into production? assuming that all of the quality testing passes. These are a couple of topics that can help you guide towards whichever option, but the key thing to remember is to avoid a feature hitting the master branch until it's approved for release with whichever option you choose. Thank you for listening.